my goodness, Landry, look! It's Stretch Armstrong! That guy has amazing stretching abilities! Oh, big deal! I have stretchy abilities, too! Whoa, Squirrel, that's amazing. Would you like to join my team? Really? Join the Plex Spiders? Yeah, we're awesome. Oops. Uh, ah! Whoa, sorry. You think he's okay? Uh, he'll bounce back. Say, how about an autograph? On the table, we are stretching about today with Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Fighters. I'm so stuck on this new Netflix show that when I passed these action figures on the aisle the other day, I could not resist. It looks like they are exclusive to Walmart. Hopefully that'll change over time. I really dislike when a store hogs all the good stuff. Right off the bat, you have to see this packaging though. This is total Stretch Armstrong stuff. Watch this. They've designed it so you can torture Stretch Armstrong in the box. How about Omnimass? And Wingspan? We could do that too. Love the packaging design. Let's get into these more. Back to Stretch here with the unbelievable Bendy package. Oh wow, we can really get this guy to stretch now, go all the way. Whoa, bounces back. On the back of the box we have Stretch Armstrong launching discs with his cool backpack attachment. I like the notepad style background there. And look at all that fine print. Isn't that interesting to read? Let's remove Stretch Armstrong from package. It looks like I'll have to be careful. The last thing I want to do is cut his stretchiness. That could be disastrous. <laughs> Outside of the package, Stretch Armstrong. Feeling kind of noodly. I love action figures with a gimmick. Well, we have to start off by seeing how stretchy he is, right? It is Stretch Armstrong. So let's give him a pull here. Do you think we can get the whole screen size? Almost there. Look at that. Oh, wow. Be careful when doing that, especially if you and a friend are like pulling this across the room. Someone's gonna get hurt. Pretty darn stretchy. I would hate to test the limits of that and break him. So we have a backpack accessory thing. Let's pop this on here and see what we can do. Looks like we're going to slide his torso into here, lock down his arms onto these posts, and we're going to do some grueling leg stretches. A little bit difficult to have him stand when stretched out wearing this thing. His legs are getting a little little tweaked, but kind of fun though. So now we've got some discs, and these are also made of flexarium. They're really soft and rubbery, which are kind of fun. They bounce around really well. I like that. Whoa, and they spin um, off the camera, of course. That thing was going crazy. And we're going to load this into this backpack here, and I think we're just going to pull back like so. And let's see here, how do we get a good flip? I think you're gonna pull back as hard as you can, there we go, on the disc. And then let go, and that'll go flying. So that works pretty well. Uh, mainly because it's so rubbery, I think you're gonna get a lot of stretchy, stretchiness to it. Wow, that shoots out pretty well. So that is Flex Armstrong and his strange flexing device. Let's get him off there, he's getting, oh, that just looks really comfortable. Hey guys, I'm ready to save the city. Ugh. It's mainly about the awesomeness of this rubbery figure. A lot of fun here. I love stretching this guy out. It's Flex Fighters Omnimass. All three of the Flex Fighters are great characters. They have been a lot of fun to watch. Once again, we can stretch Omnimass to his limits here. I love how the package is holding up to this. Of course, when you let go little bit of a spring. If you're watching the show, Omnimass isn't much of a stretchy guy. He's more of a expand your feet and arms type of guy, giving a powerful punch or a kick or some sort of crushy ability. I could see that being hard to re-replicate in toys, so I can kind of see where they're going and I kind of like it. 
at least all these three flex fighters will be all similar in style and will make for a good group. On the back of the box, we are really flexing disc launching today. Omnimass wearing a giant disc launcher attachment. Let's remove and flex. And outside of the package with Omnimass. Will Omnimass stretch across the screen like Stretch Armstrong? Let's find out. A little bit more, a little bit more. Yep, that is super stretchy. Very fun and entertaining. Oh, I miss Stretch Armstrong. What a toy that was. How's he doing for scale? Omnimass is a pretty big guy. And it looks like they're scaling them a little bit, but I understand they can't go too far with molds and things like that. I'm glad they tried, though. Again, Omnimass on the show is a little bit more like this. And like this. And less like this. But it's still fun to have a figure of him. By the way, each figure comes with instructions on how to work these guys. Looking at the disc launcher now, let's see if we can figure this out. We're going to flip down these uh, torturous leg braces and we're gonna place Omnimass inside here. And we'll stretch out his legs around these posts. So this is gonna get even more stretchy. Aha, we did it. That's pretty cool how that works. I love how his springiness is integrated into this weapon. So let's launch in some discs here. And we'll do some practice training with Stretch over there. Looks like we're just going to squeeze these back fins in and we'll launch a disc. Well, that wasn't very exciting. So I think it's more about the release than it is the squeeze on these things. So really squeeze tight and then release fast. There we go. Now we're doing it. Well, almost. Well, there you go, Omnimass. You missed every single time, but it can do some things. Now it would be Wingspan's turn. Wingspan, of course, does the same thing. Love doing that. On the back of the box, a working image of Wingspan's accessory, Launch Arrows. And let's remove. And Wingspan outside of the box, let's also test out his stretchiness. I'm gonna go way farther back here. So he is super stretchy. This is a good workout. Pretty much the same style figure we are seeing with the Stretch and Omnimass. If you're watching the show, Wingspan isn't really about this or that. He kind of stretches out his body and is kind of like a flying squirrel type of guy, a wingsuit type of guy, so nothing really going on with that. But his backpack accessory will kind of replicate what he does on the show. Once again, torso in the middle and arms up here. And once again, we will stretch them to fit. And Wingspan is integrated with the action feature as well, a little bit rubber band style. Launch in a projectile here. It looks like what we need to do is place one hand on this yellow grip here, one hand on the blue central part. Ah, I think that's my favorite out of all these so far. Just make sure not to look directly at that dart. That's Wingspan's craziness. There they are, the three flex fighters. I would imagine best to leave off their accessories so that not to get stretched permanently. Keep them unlimber if you can. So who are these guys gonna fight? I think it's that guy. I'm only on like episode seven or eight, so so far all I've seen is this guy at the last few minutes going, ha 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 ha, I'll show them, that sort of thing. On the back of the box, Stretch Monster Catapult Action. Well, let's remove Stretch Monster, see how he performs. Stretch Monster outside of the box, does it stretch? No. This is more of a plastic, solid, hollow armed figure going on. But we do have some sort of stretchiness in the uh, arms 
of how he's going to catapult, I suppose. Ah, the, that sound of ratcheting. These cool little uh, plastic launchers. I wish they were made of that flexarium like some of the figures were. It's some solid plastic. We're gonna place onto the hand here. Aha! That's violent. So there's your stretch monster. Compared to the flex fighters, kind of a weak figure. I think I would have much preferred big stretchy arms on this guy. The rest of him could have been plastic, but had they integrated just some long stretchy arms, I think that would have been a really fun toy. So kind of a miss on this one. Well, is there anything else to collect? Hey, look, there is. It's Quick Charge. Quick Charge here with Blast Energy Missiles on the back of the box. Funny, I just watched this episode last night. I think it's episode seven or eight that she appears. And outside of the package with Quick Charge. The thing about Quick Charge is she kind of looks like a good guy. It'll be interesting to see how the show pans out. I'm not so sure about Rook right now. This figure out of all of them so far probably might be the closest to a normal action figure. We've got rotation on the arms and legs. Everything is solid and looks good. Now we have some cool accessories to add on. This way or that way? I think it's that way. And then we've got some cool flexarium bolts. Now these are just lightning bolts, but they made them out of that cool stretch Armstrong like stretchy plastic. That should be the central theme to all these toys. And we're going to hook it onto the ends of these white things here and stretch out and fire and completely miss. There we go. I like that. I like this feature a lot better than what we saw with the stretch monster. Uh, everything should be stretchy, uh, not uh, action figure-y. Kind of like these goggles. Can we hang these things from her goggles? There we go. There's a place for her lightning bolts on her head. Yeah. Oh hey! There's one more figure to look at. Blind Strike. Blind Strike with a Blast Flexarium Missiles. No flexible package, looks like a regular action figure, let's remove. Blind Strike outside of the package. Blind Strike another just kind of basic action figure. So let's load up his backpack here and finally we're going to use these little back holes on the figures here. Snap that onto place. Then we'll move these arms down. There we go, holding on pretty well. And then to blast some flexarium. Another volunteer. Let's use Omni Mask this time. And same thing as before. These are really cool and stretchy. We'll add on. We'll attach here. We'll pull back. Oh, maybe if I'm doing this wrong, let's try it the right way. See how there's a secondary hole? Place that part into this fin on the side. Ah, that works so much better. Now we're going to squeeze in this trigger. See what happens now. There you go. It works. Almost didn't think it was gonna be enough stretch there. There we go. And squeeze. Ha! Huh. Not bad. Kind of an interesting little flexarium weapon. Good work, Blind Strike. And there's what we saw today. Obviously, the Flex Fighters are the figures to get. Yeah! As they're the most gimmicky fun. Or I could say the other way to go would be pick up one Flex Fighter and one of the guys from the left and battle it out. Looks like there's other vehicles and accessories out there. I might have to check into those as well. For now, enjoy stretching your Stretch Armstrong. Whoops! Sorry! Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Fighters appear on Walmart store shelves January 2018. They run approximately $8 each. If you enjoy stretching things, especially your action figures, these brightly colorful characters are for you. However, if you worry about stretching your legs into a pretzel, perhaps stick with more solid plastic. That's what I have to say about that. Some squirrels have the ability to stretch between dimensions. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Oh my gosh, Blueberry, it's Stretch Armstrong. Whoa, that guy's amazing. Could you imagine all the acorns we could reach with that ability? Hey Stretch, reach out for that apple.
Um, you mean this apple? Wow! That's amazing! Um, yeah. Okay. 